Hey, everybody, and welcome to Flash and Friends. I'm the Flash Man, and with me, as always, the beautiful and talented Roxanne Wilder. Thank you for that intro, Flash. We've got a great show today. I we can't believe certainly. who is coming in in just a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Robbie Steinhardt from Kansas. He's going to be here hanging out with us uh, for uh, a little bit. We'll talk to him. I didn't realize he was a local boy. Mm-hmm. So we'll Lives in town and country. Yeah, so we'll get uh, get some information and uh, and talk to him. Uh, it's been a crazy start to the day for me thus far, what Roxanne. Happened this morning? Well, I got up, uh, you know, did the uh, did the whole karaoke thing last night. So I got in kind of late. And normally I just strip down, put on my one piece uh, pajama thing with my <laughs> Your Snuggie, you put on your Snuggie. It's yeah, kind of okay. a Snuggie. It's got a, got a picture of my dog on it. Mm-hmm. My big I, redneck chihuahua. It's got oh a boy. big face right there. It freaks him out sometimes when I get up too fast. But anyhow, uh, you know, we're uh, going on vacation. The wife and I are taking she's gotta have some back surgery, so I, I kind of put this little this little package together. I got uh, this cool little camper mm-hmm. that we're going to throw in the back of the dually. Oh, and nice. we're going to roll up into the mountains. We're going to go up to Gatlinburg so for a couple So a whole little setup. Days. So you roll it out. You set up your campsite and you roll out the camper and there you no, go. No, it's a whole camper. It's a whole pull behind camper thing. Oh, so we, I, 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 I was I, picturing like sleeping bags and tents mm-hmm. and stuff. No, this is a big thing. No, yeah, it's a big thing. If you want to sleep in a sleeping bag, you can <laughs> sleep outside. I'm not sleeping outside in the mountains. I'm just telling you there's bears and whatnot. <laughs> But uh, anyway, so so uh, long story short, she got up uh, early so that she could get some laundry done and get some things happening mm-hmm. uh, and pack some things up while I was still snoozing. Well, um, she grabbed up my jeans that I had on last night. Of course, had my wallet and my keys and my phone and everything, belt included. Uh, God love her. I don't know why she doesn't check pockets, but she just threw so it. So she took the belt off. She claims that she actually put the jeans aside, but then when she came back through the second, of course, in the dark, she picked them up thinking maybe they were something else. I don't know how, but I thought she was kidding me, well, so I called her. Well, you know what? Her. Jeans kind of have a heavy feel to them, mm-hmm. so she probably didn't notice the difference between the heaviness just from the denim versus the heaviness from having items in the pocket. Could be. I don't know. She claimed she put them aside, but uh, unbeknownst to me, I found my wallet and everything soaking wet in the bottom of the washing machine. So that's why I was a little late getting oh, in today. No. I had to dry my license out and whatnot, my insurance card well, that's and no all big that deal. stuff. The license and the insurance card mm-hmm. aren't that big of a deal, but the key. Yeah, the key, the, my little key fob thing. Fortunately for me, I, I, I just took a little screwdriver, I popped it apart and hit it with a blow dryer before I hit any of the buttons and dried it out real good. And it's, it made it. So and then you always good. put, you know, the trick with your phone. You put it in a bag of rice. Yep, jam it in a bag of rice mm-hmm. and uh, let it uh, let it do its thing for a few days. So don't call me. I'm going on vacation anyway. I'm turning the phone off. I'm pulling a rock on you. Good. I love it. So anyway, I'm, I'm like buzzing over here. I'm uh, sorry, guys. What, you need what, to call what am I your mom. Did, did you not tell your mom we were taping again today? No, Goodness no. My gracious. phone just Come is but it's acting weird. Mm-hmm. It's like talking to me. Yeah, okay. it does that. Sometimes mine does that as well. <laughs> so listen, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we got you here. We hey, did you uh, appreciate watch the Bucks you. Game before we take I a quick went. Break? To the Bucks game, and I'd <gasps> rather not talk about it. Okay, that's where you're trying to breeze through that topic. Mm-hmm. Start fresh I'd this weekend. Zero and one. That's all we are. Uh, I heard Lovey Smith say it. We're just zero and one. There's nothing, no, nothing yeah, to see here. Nothing to see. <laughs> exactly. I was out of there by the end of the first quarter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went on back to the tailgate party because I felt like I needed to tailgate a little bit more than that. They had alcohol there after. Oh my God! I swear to you, I'm just going to give you the quick rundown. I I got to my seat. I pushed the seat down. I sat down. Touchdown, Burned Titans. Butt. Burned your butt on that seat, I bet. Yeah. And I got, up, I got up to look. And I went, oh, my gosh, I can't believe it. So I'm standing there, and then I'm talking to a guy next to me because uh, it, was, it was season ticket holder areas where I was. So I was talking mm. to a guy. He was asking me who I was and mm. blah, blah, blah. So anyway. Really? Why did he have to ask you who you were? Uh, I don't know. Because he, he he's, he's used to seeing, so, you know, the, when you're Flash season ticket. Morgan, the, hello. Yeah, right. When you're, when you're season, when you're season ticket holders. When you're season ticket holders, you, you sit next to the same people mm-hmm. all the time. I know. So, I know anyway. the drill. Oh, but well, for those of you who don't. But anywho, <laughs> no sooner sat the seat back down, I sat my butt back in the seat. Touchdown, Titans. They intercepted and ran it back down. I said, I got to go. Yeah. Should have been standing I, the whole time. Uh, for the, for, Find for your the, position yeah. where bad things don't was. happen I and did. freeze. I stood up, went on over to the concession stand, got a beer, and went on back to the tailgate party. <laughs> and that didn't help either. Yeah, it was bad. I think they scored three more times from the time it took me to walk from the stadium back over to the uh, tailgate party. But anyway. On that downer note, let's take a break. Yeah, let's take a quick break. We'll be back in a minute with Robbie Steinhardt from Kansas here on uh, Flash and Friends. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. 
This segment is powered by TampaBayNightlife.tv, Tampa Bay's video entertainment guide and home of Tampa Bay's top 20 things to do with a new show every Friday. Hey, it's the Flashman. Join us this Saturday night as we broadcast the Saturday Night Dance Party live at Club Dubai. Join me and Matt the Brad as we mix all of your favorite dance music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. The first 105 people get hooked up with a free q -tini. Ladies, you're in free till 10 p.m. with $3 q teenies all night. The Saturday Night Dance Party live at Club Dubai. Doors open at 9 p.m. Club Dubai, 3849 Northdale Boulevard in Carrollwood. For VIP and table reservations, call 813-502-30. 237. Flash and Friends is powered by Extra Medium Productions, your high definition full service production studio. Call 727 584 4500. ExtraMedium.com. Hey, and welcome back to the show. It's Flash and Friends, Flash, Roxanne Wilder. We got uh, Robbie Steinhardt in the house from Kansas. Maybe you've heard of him. Q105, you know we play them mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Love, so. Love it, Matt. Well, Robbie, welcome to the show, brother. Appreciate welcome. you coming Thanks down. Thanks so much. Thank you. It's great On to such be here. short yeah. notice. I am sitting close enough to you to really appreciate the highlights in oh, your hair. I love those. What are you so talking sorry. about, Roxanne? That's all natural. Hey, get up on that mic a little bit more so we can hear you okay, a little bit. There. sure. Perfect. Look at that. I thought that was all natural. It Well... One could say it is. <laughs> yeah, of course it's we could. It's naturally done by a, a good friend of mine. Well, there you go. It looks good great. Stuff. So I didn't even realize I was doing First Friday last uh, last week down in uh, downtown St. Pete, and I went, why do I know that guy? And then you broke out the violin. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I know who that is. <laughs> I didn't realize you got you get hanging out with uh, with Stormbringer down there. You guys brought it down even in the rain. It was great. Yeah, it turned out to be really good. And and Rick told me that normally when they play those kinds of functions, because that was my first first Friday. Yeah. Um, they Your said first he, first Friday. To, yeah, first first Friday. <laughs> he said no, f f first. Um, he he said normally people um, after the first set, a first or second set. People usually split, and there are a couple hundred people left. He said there mm -hmm. were several thousand there. Oh, it was great. To, up to the very end, which yeah, I, I thought bet. was amazing. And what kind of messed me up, and I was a little upset, because the, the timing was off because of the rain. Because normally I bring the band up on stage, and I do some stage announcing, but every time the, the schedule that the guy gave me was off, so every time I would walk out, you guys were on and playing. But, I, man, I got down there, and, and I, sta I sat out in the rain. I couldn't get a place underneath the, uh, the overhang there. I watched you guys, and, man, it sounded awesome. And I love those guys too. Thank Stormbringer, you. they they rock the house as well. They're a really good band. They they we were together years ago. We formed that band. Rick mm. Moon and I did. It was called Steinhardt Moon. Gotcha. We used to play at a place on Fourth uh, Street years ago called Pockets. Okay. Um, okay. And now it's a golf store or something, or it was for a while. Um, and anyway, that's we got together all those years ago, and then I left them and went back to Kansas. Mm -hmm. Then I left Kansas again ten years ago, and now I'm. Back playing with these guys again. So speaking you are, of you're forming local. bands, speaking of forming oh, bands, yeah. uh, I I want to hear how Kansas was originally formed and how you guys got together and even the name where it came from. I mean, I think well, I know the answer. It but... goes back a long ways. <laughs> I don't know if I can even remember that. Um, well, I mean, we're all from Kansas, mm -hmm. so th thus the name, right? Sure. I'm from Lawrence, Kansas, where Kansas University is, Jay, uh, Jayhawks. Okay. Um, and everybody else is from Topeka, Kansas, which is the capital, about 24 miles away. Um, it's like Tampa, St. Pete, huh? Yeah, it's kind of kind of ah. the same thing. Yeah, although um, smaller towns than than these here, and not a big but, body of water between the two. No. <laughs> 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 but anyway, yeah, it's like so. Uh, those guys, several of those guys in the in that turned out to be White Clover, and then Kansas um, were friends in high school. They went to school together and grew up together, more or less from the from a teenage, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so. Uh, half the band got together that way, and then they started bringing people in, like Steve Walsh, who they knew was a great singer, and he was he lived in St. Joseph, sure. Missouri, which is about 80 miles away. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and so uh, it was just um, a, a thing that came together one day when Phil called me and said, the, the drummer called me and said, I want to put together a band. I'm going to Europe to to become famous. Oh, wow. And I'm going to play Very drums ambitious. over there. And if I have to come back, you know, for whatever reason, um, I'm wondering if uh, <clears throat> if I'd be able to. What's going on? Okay, okay. Oh, some, Bill, somebody getting a, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bill getting a text message over there. We, we try to tell Cindy him. Just, oh, okay. Cindy just shot you a look. That's it. Cindy shot you a look. <laughs> and you work here for crying out loud. 
<laughs> well, she's a photographer, so, you know. There you go. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, and the drummer called me. Phil called me and said, um, I'm, I'm going to Europe. I'm going to become famous. And mm-hmm. if I don't become famous and I come back, do you want to start a band? And I said, okay. He said, I've got a, a band almost put together that we could would be really good. we got a great singer. we got great players. So he went to Europe. Um, they, to make a long story short, they told him that playing drums was not a legitimate job. So oh, they, right. he told me they threw him out of the country. I don't know if that's <laughs> really true, but so he came back. Uh, we formed the band in 19 summer of, um, end of July, 72. Okay. And then started playing. Then all of a sudden, uh, six months later, we get a call from New York after sending a tape out, yeah. which ended up on Kurt, Don Kirshner's desk. Wow. And now, obviously, he had a lot of confidence going to Europe and saying, hey, I'm going to go over there and be yeah, famous. Yeah. Did you know when you guys first started playing, did you just have that gut feeling that, oh, yeah, this is going to well, be something? It, it's something that we wanted, and we weren't going to stop till we got it. Nice. Uh, I, I think we're kind of lucky that we did get there because, for me, every just about once a month, I, I threatened to quit. So, because it was like, well, you know, we're, we're, we're riding in, in below zero weather in a school bus with no right. heat. Right. Um, no windshield wipers, you know, it's like, uh, having to pee out the door and stuff like that. So it's like <laughs> going 60 miles an hour. Right, right, um, right. So, so <laughs> that's not on it. Well, as long as okay. it doesn't blow back on you, you're good to go, I guess, you know? So anyway, but the, um, there are a lot of older stories that, that are on that, on the new, uh, DVD, the, the documentary that we just released. Oh, that's the 40. what I imagine, right? We can see some of those on that documentary. Yeah, yeah. it's, um, it's. And it, lately, it's been being shown on, um, let's see, on Palladia and VH1 Classic, I think. Nice. They run it occasionally. Yeah. But anyway, I recommend that that people, if they want to know a lot about Kansas, um, it's a really good documentary. Well, I'll I'm very tell you, proud of it. you know, as, as work in Q105, I mean, it's still one of the most requested songs that we get. I mean, it's a, a, an amazing, it's amazing how it is. And I guess, for, you know, for you, you said 1972. In your opinion, how do you, you've, you've got to have seen, just like radio and any other business, how has it changed in your eyes as far as, as from when you started to, to now, of course? Uh, uh, how has uh, radio changed? Well, no, uh, oh. being in the band, you know, oh. the, 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 the landscape of, of the star. band. Wow, yeah, being a rock star. Yeah, it's... I mean, with technology, I know, has a lot to do with it. But sure. I, um, well, the, the, the problem is now, if, if there was anybody left around that could write good music, that mm-hmm. would be really nice. Yeah, right. So... As far as we're concerned, you know, we're we're the the dinosaurs, right? That's the lost mm-hmm. art. We still think, yeah, mm-hmm. we still think it's a lost art. That, that's a good way to put it, Rox. Well, it's got to be just like in radio. Like when I started, we had cart machines and tape decks and reel to reels, and now everything runs on the computer. I could walk out of the room. As a matter of fact, I could I can tape my show prior. And you would think I was in the studio. It's True. just it's it's an amazing. It's you're great. not supposed to tell anybody. Yeah. That. I mean, it's well, great technology, but I mean. Uh, the art of it, of, of being able to edit a tape and edit a call and, and do this, it's, it's got to be the same thing with instruments and playing. And, you know, you got these synchronizers and things that keep you in, in time and such. Yeah. It was just, it's it's like the art of it is 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 not there. I anymore. remember asking my, uh, when we, one of the first couple of years we started, I remember asking my manager, Bud Carr, I said, Bud, how does Jethro Tull play um, you know, put music on the record that tight. Yeah. And he said, they play it that way. And I went, wow, <laughs> really? What? <laughs> Robbie, I want to shift gears a little bit and check on something with you. Check on your health. Because I know you did oh. have a quadruple bypass. I had a quintuple. Quintuple. Yeah. Oh, my quintuple. goodness. I can't count so you that You look high. like you're feeling great. I'm feeling really good. That's it's so how good to it hear. Been? Um, a little over two years now. Yeah. Oh, good. Um, they said it might take as many as three or four years for me to get back to where I could be feel exactly like myself again, or mm-hmm. like my my old new self, I guess. Right. Um, so we'll see what happens. But I'm, okay. I've been feeling really good. I'm taking my meds, and um, I'm taking the kind of meds that are legal. And mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. you know, I don't do the old stuff <laughs> anymore. Go. Yeah, good, good, good. And good. there are lots of stories about that, that but we won't go into it. Right? Is that the documentary? <laughs> that's, that's not in the documentary. <laughs> you know why? People, and another reason people like our documentary mm-hmm. so much is that we don't go into all that Molly okay. Crew stuff. Okay. Gotcha. Good. Which is we're really proud of. It's like you know that's a that's a side of of some bands that uh, is interesting to hear about if you know if you're having a beer together or whatever. But yeah. you know to to that tell everybody sense. it's just it's it's a personal thing. So 
So you definitely are a homeboy. You're you're uh, here in Tampa. I've, I've been living in Tampa in uh, town and country since 1975. No oh, cool. kidding. Well, shoot, yeah. you're a regular. What Tampanian. are some of your favorite haunts? Because I'm close by that area too. Do you like to go to My that haunts? Vietnamese place? Well, I you know. Um, Quo qua. I haven't. I what it's is, called. It's so good. Is though. that the place that used to be Durango um, down near Chili's, or is that is that? What yes, you're it's it's about? it's near where Chili's right. is. Yes. Um, I haven't been in that particular restaurant. Okay. It's been. Uh, so in my lifetime here in Tampa since 75, it's been like 15 different restaurants. I see. I see. What and about so Sharan's? You go to Sharan's? But I used to go across the street to My yes. King, the Chinese place. Mm-hmm. Um, Sharan's. Mm-hmm. We love that. We love, love Yeah, we love their cheesesteaks. Yes, yeah, they got some the good cheesesteaks. We haven't spent too much time in the new Sharan's. We, we used to go to the old one on Stewart and right. Westboro. Right. right. Um, but the owners are, are friends of ours. And. Um, we we wish them well. They seem to do really well. When they we seem drive to be doing by. great. They're they're running lived, a lot of commercials. We live right across the street from mm-hmm. there. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so you but anyway, bu- so I'll I, tell you about this new place though that I that since we're talking about it, uh-huh. I should give them a plug because they're a little overpriced. I have to tell them that because I'm sure they know. This is they like a restaurant they review. They won't, they won't totally be anymore. Honest, they're, pa- yes. they're packed all the time. They're okay. called a Tampa Brewing Company. Yes, There's one oh. in Ybor City. Yes, there is. But they just opened on Racetrack Road in Hillsboro. Gotcha. Okay. And that whole area is they, blowing up. They are really killing. They're behind the Publix uh, shopping center. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did right. not anyway, even know that's in my backyard. I didn't yeah, know it was okay. there, so thank you. But anyway, yeah, yeah, we go to, like, you know, and there's only one place to go late night. That's mm-hmm. Applebee's. We go there to, you know, just to have a place to hang out. Right, right? I know. Nothing. Um, a little sleepy at night in that area. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, Rocks doesn't get see, out past 9 one and a two lot and of three times. Right. In the morning, so. right. And we don't go to bed till the sun comes up. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on rock star time. Right, right. Well, Rox, Rox is on, on that control. opposite clock. Yeah. She's in bed by 9, oh, 9.30. Really? Wow. Yeah. I did morning radio for a while, okay. so that kind of stuck with me. So now I'm so you still, still get up at early riser. Well, morning? not that early, okay. not that early, but, you know, I try to. Now I'm making up for all the lost sleep that I got okay. during that time. <laughs> <Good for you. laughs> yeah, she's making up for that. So, Robbie, uh, yeah. i got to ask you, uh, probably the most important question, are you a, um, how do I put this? Uh, a Bucks fan? You, Bucks fan, yeah. Are you a Bucks fan? Oh, boy. <laughs> well, you know, what I was going to tell you guys earlier is that, um, Cindy and I have not even been in the stadium ever. Really? Yeah, and someday we'd like to go. Not even the old Sombrero? What? Oh, no, the Sombrero. Yeah, I was in Sombrero, okay. yeah, because yeah. I have I used to go see the Rowdies there. I used to go see the, the Bandits mm-hmm. there. I yeah. Used to, mm-hmm. yeah. Me too. And I went to, uh, I think, one Bucks or two Bucks games. But um, You haven't been in Raymond James? I've never been in Raymond wow. James ever. Even for an event? No, for nothing, not no for anything. No kidding. So I'd like to go sometime if anybody would like to invite me. I would love yeah, to go. Yeah, we'd like to get you some tickets sure. to something, a Bucks game or something. Have to hang out with our, our crew. But So, uh, um, uh, boy, there's so many things we could say about that. Um, I asked you about the uh, the cannons earlier. You, mm-hmm. you you said you had a theory. Well, I had about a theory. Why yeah. they talk to about be, they, they've diminished the sound? Is that uh, what you're saying? They seem to have diminished the sound. Well, let me let me step um, I, and I think it was uh, and and I hate to even bring up Tennessee because I whipped our butt so bad but yeah I think it was a couple of years ago they had a shot of the coach from the Tennessee Titans on the sideline on, okay. on tight shot we had just scored and the cannon went off and it scared him so bad oh. I mean it he about came out of his skin he he was I that mean was it, he be was my sha- theory too and it mm-hmm. was the I laughed. I, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Coach. It, it, but oh God, well, I laughed I uncontrollably for about twenty minutes. It may be. It's on YouTube. But okay. the funny thing is, is there was a lot of Tennessee Titans fans in the stadium at the game because I was at the game. Yeah. And at the beginning, and I walked in just as they were announcing. And after every Buccaneer player comes out, they fire the cannon. Right. So there was a group of these tennis, and we were right behind the pirate ship. And so the first person came out and. Boom! That cannon went off, and all of them about just jumped right out of their skin. I oh had to, gosh. I had to kind of duck into the men's room. Well, for a couple of reasons, but one because I had, <laughs> I had to laugh so hard. It's just the funniest thing, and I think that may be it's why they don't. It's liability. It's liability. Funny. They can't have people having heart attacks. Yeah, yeah. That's very that, funny. That, so that that that's my theory. Uh, okay. You know, uh, whether I'm right, wrong, or indifferent, Makes I don't sense. know. But but it's oh my gosh. It's com- it's 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 uh, comedy for uh, for the Tampa Bay fans. And then if fans. it doesn't go off quite as often as you would like it, then it's all the more noticeable that it doesn't go off that lo- that often. Yeah, it you was know? it was pretty silent in the game mm-hmm. this past weekend. My God, it was terrible. But hey, we got high hopes. So cute. We got holding hands got, over here. So you guys yeah. go to every game, do you? No, I just happened to uh, to we we tailgate with uh, uh, what the buck. 
Uh, they're friends of ours, <laughs> and we, we pull our, our uh, Gasparilla float out for their big tailgate party. And uh, the guy that normally does it has season tickets, and his truck was broke down. And so I ended up using my big dually to pull the, to pull the float down. So I used his ticket, and I went in. So I, I go period. It's too much for me, man. It's, it's you, you figure in, in the uh, – and thank God it was a little overcast. But, you know, yeah. it's so hot here. You it get is. you get however many thousands of people into a, a bowl – and it's hot already, and then mm-hmm. just the heat that your body's but it is it, it's got to be 125 degrees in there. Well, maybe we can so. change the NFL in the future so that uh, that states that need it can can play in the winter, and the other states that don't right. need it can play in right. the summer. Take advantage of exactly. that, right. yes. Well, Take advantage yeah. of the best weather patterns, for I'm sure. Gonna, I'm gonna write that I think up. there are going to be teams in, NF, in NFL Europe before we know it. Don't really? you think so? Wow. It's just my thought. Okay. That's her theory. Well, <laughs> I think in the next three years we'll see teams over there. Well, you see, I, I had a years. prediction about Europe years ago when they mm-hmm. opened uh, Disney um, Paris. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, uh, I bought a, a commemorative ticket, um, a, actually four of them, I think, right. which I still have at home, because I thought it was going to be this huge flop, mm-hmm. and then I would have my tickets would be invaluable. Right, you know? right. And, but it's apparently it's. They've done well, so I, I, I don't have good luck with guessing about <laughs> Europe. <right? laughs> so you oh. and the Rowdies love each other. Oh yeah, um, How'd that well, come I used about? to hang with the Rowdies years right? and years ago. And, and it's um, and it was because it, I as a kid I grew up playing soccer here in Tampa, and it was the the Rowdies were just a huge. Kick in the grass. It was amazing. They were yeah, kicking the grass. It was amazing, and uh, um, and it just seemed like it went away. But so I'm so glad to see. Uh, that they're coming back and and that they're putting some money into redoing the the stadium down there and yeah, everything and is apparently the, the um, buzz is back. I, I I'm trying to remember his name because I just met him the other day. The owner, I think his name is Bill. Um, he uh, apparently he's going to make the stadium complete. He's going to round the, the entire thing, right? And, and and fence it in. Well, yeah. whatever you want to. Well, I understand. Call it. There are huge plans um, for that. I I can't wait to see yeah. what they do. And I, I'm so glad to see. That buzz come back. I mean, uh, Rox is is really into the sporting end of things too, and and she uh, uh, just the more sports and activities that we have, you know, connected to Tampa yeah. Bay. I think it's great. It's like a lot of most people don't know anything about soccer, so it's it's really nice that it's um, they're trying to make it more known. Actually, it, people it, know it about was, it outside of this country. It, yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> it was here years ago, and then that it went away. Now it's back again. It's like mm-hmm. um, my friend Ver- Perry Vanderbeck is working for the firm, with for the company now, and it's like um, he used to be a player, a great player, um, and he's been really nice. He got his tickets. We're going to the game on Saturday, mm-hmm. oh, cool. so everybody come out to the game. Yeah, man, got like support fun. our rallies. Yeah. So, what else do you have going on right now? What else do I have? Uh, let's You're see. You're busy. Um, well, I'm. I've got my band Stormbringer that uh, was my band years ago called Steinhardt Moon. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm back with them uh, playing occasionally, mm-hmm. and we're going to play some special gigs around. Um, namely, we're going to play uh, the Rib Fest. So, oh, nice. Um, but that's not your thing, so we won't oh, go in. Oh, it's we our won't thing. Go deeply into <laughs> it. Um, with all your tra- with what? all your travels that you've done, and you were sharing some of your favorite places locally, so that's fun. But with all your travels, do you have favorite places you've been to around the country? That you just either cities or wow. restaurants or places you've performed. Well, I've been so many places. I know. Well, um, yeah. Um, well, to go places like um, in in the Northeast, like uh, Boston, um, mm-hmm. they have a they have a firm up there, um, a chain up there called Legal Seafood. Oh, mm-hmm. and, I've been there. Yes, oh, man, their food is so, so good. good. Um, I, you know, what I have trouble with. I I've, I've been here since what seventy five now, and wow. I have trouble finding. Good seafood in Tampa, uh, St. Pete, Clearwater. Yeah. I mean, maybe you guys can tell me since I told you where to go. Well, maybe I was good at Frenchie's. <laughs> Frenchie's is always good well, for we, seafood. The thing is, the last time we had a, a sandwich at Frenchie's, the the giant grouper sandwich with their what mm-hmm. they're famous for, right? Um, it wasn't all that hot, and and we wondered kind of why. We think it's smaller than it used to be, oh, really? which right. it probably okay. is. Okay. But we used to go to the Frenchie's on the water. And, I um, found a place up in Land O'Lakes, and I, for the life of me, the name escapes me, but it's, but it's brand new, and if you're heading north, it's just before north 54. Yeah, if oh. you go if you go up, uh, yeah, up 41, okay. just before you get to 54, it's on the right-hand okay. side. Yeah, there's very little in that area, and so it's, I'd be and able And it's to in that it. little alcove, it's in that little cutout, and they just opened about a month ago, and I went in there with my wife and my grandkids, and we had a great meal and it was and, and my wife is from trinidad so she is all about the fish okay. and the seafood 
and she was just elated I'm, when we left. So I'm that might I be asked. a place. That might be the place. To Another check out. place okay. too, Tirasura Cafe, not too far from Town and Country. It's oh Peruvian food is what it is. T e r r a T e r r a Sur Cafe, and it's right up in the Carrollwood area. So it's not okay. too far from you, but they have delicious Peruvian food and fresh fish. Their ceviche is amazing. Okay, mm-hmm. ceviche. Okay. So there, we're just a wealth of knowledge when it comes to there restaurants around the Bay Area. Well, yeah, there you go. Robbie and Flash, you know. Uh huh. You come to us, I mean. Listen, Robbie, thanks so much for coming by, man. It's been a great time. You got you and listen, the door is open. You're welcome anytime you want to come down here and mm-hmm. hang out. Thank you. I talk love about, dropping uh, in. The- talk about Stormbringer, because man, we love Stormbringer. That's great. Love Thank those you. guys. They, I'm they glad you do. rock, man. I love them. Love them, love them. So uh, thanks for being here. And sure. uh, we'll be back in just a minute, Flash and Friends, right here on the internet. This segment is powered by TampaBayNightlife.tv, Tampa Bay's video entertainment guide and home of Tampa Bay's top 20 things to do with a new show every Friday. Hey, it's the Flashman. Join us this Saturday night as we broadcast the Saturday Night Dance Party live at Club Dubai. Join me and Matt DeBrat as we mix all of your favorite dance music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. The first 105 people get hooked up with a free Q-Teeny. Ladies, you're in free till 10 p.m. with $3 Q-Teenies all night. The Saturday Night Dance Party live at Club Dubai. Doors open at 9 p.m. Club Dubai, 3849 Northdale Boulevard in Carrollwood. For VIP and table reservations, call 813 502 30 Flash and Friends is powered by Extra Medium Productions, your high-definition, full-service production studio. Call 727-584-4500, extramedium.com. Hey, welcome back to the show. Goodness gracious, Robbie Steinhardt, thank you so much for being here. Man, that guy can talk. We love oh, it, man. So sweet. What I a sweetheart. Him. Loved him. We were also talking during the break about lunch. I I love to go to lunch, but I I can't. Bill's looking at me like I'm crazy, but I I can't sit still for that long. She is crazy, Bill. Am I crazy, Bill? Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? And Bill watches so much video of me. You know what a nut job I am. Yes, I do. Did you get her doing any lunch? Did you eat eat crazy? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I bet. (laughs) I bet by the end of the year, Bill's going to have a hell of a blooper reel on us, buddy. He's going to have a blooper reel. We'll be holding you guys ransom, believe me. He's so sick of us we by that are time. In he's trouble hearing there. our voices while he's trying to sleep. Do you guys want some good stories to talk about? I would right love now? some good stories sure. before we wrap it up. Okay. Come on now. What okay. you got? So this is these are the things, the top five things that can boost a woman's mood. Boost a whim a woman's, a woman's mood. Women's, in women's, a good way or a bad way. Yeah, yeah right. Way. Boost okay. it. Boost. Because I can send them to the I can send them to the dark side real quick. Yeah, <laughs> I seem to have that problem. So, I can do it. So this is good stuff, guys. Oh, good. Put it in your back Hold pocket. On. Can so I borrow you your pen a minute? I want to take some notes. In the wrong direction. <laughs> can I take some notes? Then here's how you can boost them back. All up. right, we'll boost them back in there. So in a different direction. So starting with. This is just a sad statement on, of our society, mm-hmm. getting a good night's sleep. But that is the damn truth. That will boost my mood. If I wake up and I know I've gotten 8 to 12 hours of sleep. <laughs> I'll interject. <laughs> you know what? I'll interject right there because from the time, I was, from the time I was a little kid, my mm-hmm. mom always taught us if somebody's sleeping, be courteous. Never wake them I up. I love your mother. I, as do I. She, she would tell me, never wake them up. So now, just like I was explaining earlier in the show... I come home late at night. Susie's asleep. I'm like a mouse. I just do my thing, and I I, I even ease into bed nice you and need not to wake her up and bother. So courteous. I give her a little peck on the cheek, maybe if she's Aww. and and and, and, and then I roll zone. over and I and I Aww. go yeah and I go right out. I try not not with her. Let me tell you something. She's, she's total opposite. Ram, just so she can so send noise, rambunctious. Oh my god! Tasmanian if, devil listen, around if the house, she's washing up, your clothes, everyone's with up. your stuff inside the pockets, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. banging yeah, around and lo- that's how you figured it out. They were banging around in the drying machine. Right? Why well, she got to bring up old stuff? <laughs> or slamming <laughs> the doors. Keys were Why bouncing around in the drying machine? That's Why? it. Why got to bring up in the dryer? Stuff. That's how you woke up. Okay. okay. Anyway, what's the second thing? Okay. So the second thing is put you in a good mood. You definitely want to buy a new outfit. That puts women in a good mood. We're so we're so predictable. I'm horrible about that because everything that I'm that I that I or the woman buying the new outfit the the woman Uh, receiving a new outfit but she could have bought it herself everything I do everything I I ever bought she hates well let her give her money and let her go buy it so that's what that yeah Mm -hmm. that's what I do Mm -hmm. (laughs) you you can you can make some bad choices in that department. You can offend. Getting a new hairstyle, being around friends and family, and getting a compliment from their boyfriend or husband. So you see how easy it is to pep up that mood. Just say, oh, honey, yeah. have you gotten enough sleep lately? I'm going to let you sleep in. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pay you a compliment. 
get a new outfit. Simple. You see how I always open up the show, Bill? That's because Roxy's kind of my work wife. Like, right, you know, right. With, you with, know with, what with to say. Always the perk up once the show gets going Roxy after Roxy that Lover. intro. That's yeah, that's good stuff. I All thought right. so. Okay, I thought else? so. Anything else? Anything else cool over there you got? Oh, I do believe so. Mm-hmm. I want to share something with you. I would love for you to share something with me. Five phrases young people use. Ah. And I am no longer in the young person category. I'm going to see if you guys use any of these. I don't use any of them. Okay. Sorry, not sorry. Never even heard that That's one. something that it's, it's a fake apology. It's like oh, you're being sarcastic. Like, right. sorry, mean it. Ah. That kind of thing. Okay. This is, this is dating all of us because I don't use any of these. Except for Bill. He uses them all the time. I try to stay with the youngins. Bill, yeah. do you use... Oh, no. Bill, turn Is your phone me? off. Somebody's, oh, that's not me. <laughs> that's not me. That's the mystery line. Flash, answer. We could answer it. Say you're doing See what it is. Ask Just, pizza. I'm not here. <laughs> I hope that worked out. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. It just Love came it. on us. I hope that wasn't Love the it. other girl's phone mm-hmm. call. She was for right. her 11 o'clock spot. Yeah, I hope so. Not. <laughs> um, sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Call her. Nick. Okay, I can't even. It means you're annoyed, you're losing your patience, and you're at a loss for words. I ah, can't even. Right. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Perf. It's just an abbreviation for perfect. perfect. Perf. Oh, okay. Perf. I got you. TBH, you can figure this out. Um, Texting someone, TBH, TBH. And, um, but these are things people actually say. TBH. This is, these are millennials who say this. TBH. We're kind of higher than that group. Uh, Not quite millennials anymore. Talk back or tomorrow. Never, I, I don't know. What does that mean? TBH. TBH, to be honest. Oh, to be uh, honest. To be honest. Uh, to be honest. Uh, oh, I thought it was TBT. Uh, sorry. And this one, if, if I hear anyone say this, I'm going to just. Smack them. <gasps> yeah, oh. I don't like this one. <laughs> okay. Bay. Hey, bay, bay. Bay. Of course, B-A-E. it means baby. B A E. And what does that mean? Ba- baby. It means. Hey, baby. How baby. You doing? Oh, like I when you're referring to a significant other. Oh, Shane, have you ever heard the song? Hey, baby. Bay. Hey, baby. Bay. <laughs> uh, me. Either. I just. I, I'm not. I don't care for that. All right, bay. we're gonna we're gonna leave that one. We're gonna leave you on that uh, happy note. Mm-hmm. Hey, baby. Bay. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Hey, thank you so much. Don't forget to uh, share the page with everybody that you know. As a matter of fact, do it right now. If you haven't liked it, just click the little button right there just click it like us man because we like you right and we love extra medium productions uh, and mm-hmm. tampa bay nightlife dot tv well, thank you very Make much sure you check and that they out love you back yeah let them know uh, if you need to know what's going on for the weekend you gotta hit them up and they will get you uh get you fired up thanks to beasley and roxy for letting us use her studio and we will see you next time right here on the internet bye bye mom bye mom